practice for you. Here comes the Village of Winfield Police under the direction of Stacy Reaver, Chief of Police. You know, this department is very busy. You can log on any time and see the police log, which I did just to make sure it was a safe place to be, and it is. They do a good job. District is led by Fire Chief Philip Demenza and Deputy Fire Chief Brian Lewis. The Winfield Fire Protection District is responsible for protecting and preserving the lives and property of the citizens of Winfield. And they also take care of surrounding unincorporated DuPage County from fire and to assist them in emergency situations. Hey guys, this is kind of cool. They do offer classes, programs, and safety tips to educate the public. And you should be proud of your Winfield Police Department because they have been successful in keeping the crime rate to one of the lowest in DuPage County. So this is indeed a safe place to be. Here comes our DuPage County Marine Color Guard. Please rise, show some respect. The DuPage County Marines Color Guard from Wheaton represents Detachment 399 of the Marine Corps League. The Marine Corps League was chartered in 1935 by an act of Congress, and its members are Marine and FMF Corpsmen veterans. Give them a round of applause. Indeed. In addition to supporting various veteran programs, supporting the Eagle Scout program and providing scholarships, the DuPage County Marines is the local coordinator for Toys for Tots. Last year, they distributed more than 90,000 toys. This year's Toys for Tots campaign begins in October. That's just in a couple of months, folks, so be sure to collect those toys when you see them on sale. And they run through December 13th. You can find collection bins at various businesses throughout DuPage County. So we have Chuck and Lee Beggs, our Grand Marshals of the Winfield Good Old Days Parade. And they have resided in Winfield since the mid-1800s. I'm sure not Chuck and Lee themselves, but their family uh, began here in the 1800s. Chuck and Lee Beggs have two children, Vince and Kimberly, which by the way, my name is Kimberly, so that is an awesome name. And they were raised in the home of Chuck's grandfather, which was purchased on Washington Avenue in 1913. If you remember from our trivia, that's even before we were incorporated as a village in 1921. So they now live in a home that on Washington Avenue as well that's a little newer model built in 1993. So give a big wave to Chuck and Lee Beggs. Chuck has served as the Village of Winfield on both the Planning Commission and the Parks Advisory Commission. Lee also served the community and was a member of the Winfield Junior Women's Club. Give them a big round of applause. They have contributed a lot to this community. And they're still married, so that also deserves a great round of applause after all that work they do in the community. In the mid-1970s, when the village was planning a new home development on the north side of town, Chuck served on that planning commission. And then, of course, again on the Parks Advisory Commission. The organizations, businesses, and citizens came together for a meeting to explain how to start a new park district, so they did that. And Chuck was one of the first people to suggest, hey, let's seek the citizens' opinion. So they did that. Now we have the Winfield Park District. The Winfield Park District was established in 1978. The initial board of commissioners consisted of Marilyn Nylas, James Young, Richard Murdoch, Clement Milder, and President Charles Beggs, of course. In the fall of 2000, the Winfield Park District's residents passed a referendum to expand the Charles Beggs Activity Center. This historic moment would change the quality of recreational services provided to Winfield patrons forever. Programs offerings have more than tripled since that time. 
And due to the popularity, another expansion was made to the fitness center. And then it more than doubled in size. Thank you to our residents for 35 years of excellence, the Winfield Park District 35th year anniversary. Let's give a round of applause for the Winfield Historical Society in a red Dodge convertible looking all stylish. Again, celebrating its 35th year in 2013, we have President Adrian Rose and Secretary Marsha McAdams being driven by Bill Rose. Now we're one member short, but in any event, other members of the society are walking behind and distributing candy. So give them a friendly wave and I'm sure they'll throw some your way. The Winfield Historical Society operates the Hedges Station Museum in Winfield and is now open for you to visit. Are you guys with Winfield in action? Now we have the Winfield in action. This is a nonprofit volunteer organization. You guys can leave some candy here on this table. That's quite all right. They provide baseball, softball, and soccer programs for children in Winfield and the surrounding community. Soccer practices usually begin in mid-August. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Keep bringing it on. <laughs> it runs to mid-October. Oh my gosh, thank you. I just got a ton of candy over here. So if you guys need more candy, you can come see me later. If you don't feel you got enough. Thank you. Guess I need a little more sweetness. There are so many sponsors that make Winfield in Action possible, like the Winfield Community Bank, Expression Wear Screen Printing, R.L. Johnson & Sons, Wheaton Sports Center, Border Heating and Cooling, Prairie Pass Cycles, and many, many more that we'll mention throughout the day. And here we have the Village of Winfield officials. The governing body of the village is composed of six village trustees and a village president elected at large for four-year terms which are staggered so that three trustees are elected every two years. Here we have the Western DuPage Special Recreation Association. Give a big round of applause. They serve as children, teens, and adults with disability. They are a proud partner of the Winfield Park District since 1988. They offer special Olympics, adopted sports, social club, cultural arts programs, trips, and even more. Their vision is equal fun for everyone. Thank you for all your hard work. Here we have the Winfield Area Girl Scouts, second and third grade Ronnie Troop from Winfield School. In their third year of Girl Scouts, you can participate in community services and projects that promote sisterhood. for the Girl Scouts. Pleasant Hill School in Winfield has over 100 girls in grades K through 5th participating in Girl Scouts. This age range has three levels of scouting, Daisy, Brownie, and Junior. The goal is to build girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. Here we have Boy Scout Troop 575 of Winfield, consisting of scouts ranging in age from 11 to 17. They are supported by numerous leaders and committee members from the community. The scouts and leaders of Troop 575 enjoy a full year of camping, summer camp, and many other exciting activities. They are the winner, the winner folks, of this year's District Klondike Derby and have held that title four years in a row. Fantastic. Troop 575 is proud to present the flag of our country today as we honor the good old days. So please rise out of respect for that flag. Thank you, Carl. Cub Scout True 575 has a question for you. Are you a boy in first through fifth grade who is looking for some adventure? Come out and learn about Cub Scouts. Winfield's Pack 575 invites you to our first meeting this Friday at 7 p.m. right over here in the St. John Baptist School Hall. Woo! Give them a big round of applause.
Well, boys, if that sounds fun to you to do some camping, build some character. I know you can learn how to whittle, how to use a pocket knife. All kind of cool stuff going on at Boy Scouts. My son was in Scouts for many years, and it is uh, definitely a great organization, fun to be a part of. Congressman Roscoe serves Illinois' 6th Congressional District and is honored to represent Winfield. You can visit RoscomforCongress.com for more details about Peter and his campaign. Whitfield Township provides general emergency assistance to township residents, the senior bus program in cooperation with the West Chicago Park District, maintenance of the township cemetery and other taxpayer services. Look at that bus, that is just fantastic. We need to get everybody out and enjoying the beautiful area here. The Winfield Township Road District provides maintenance. Visit the township's webpage for further information. Republicans? Republicans? And here we have the Winfield Township Republicans. We present your Republican officials and candidates. If you like safe neighborhoods, great schools, and open spaces, Thank a Republican. Oh, these look like dancers. Show us what you got, girls. Give them a big round of applause. It's hot out there, and they're dancing their toes off. This is the Front Street Dance Center of Wheaton. They teach children's ballet, tap, hip hop, and contemporary dance for ages two to 18. Front Street Dance Center is located in downtown Wheaton on of all streets, Front Street. They are the home of the Wheaton Stars Dance Company that recently performed in Disney World. Here we go with Monkey Joe and the Game Dudes, where you can jump and play video games with your friends. I bet that's a popular thing to do. And look at that vehicle. Wow, that looks more exciting than the ice cream truck. Thank you so much. All right, look who we have coming up. I started talking about Tony Reyes earlier. You guys are gonna have to clap for him again because there he is driving the truck. You all know who he is. He's the village trustee and he sponsored the Kids Fun Zone this year. Since the club's chartering on March 18, 1959, the Winfield Lions Club members have worked on a variety of projects, such as building the pavilions at Lions Park, Lions Campaign Site First, providing general eye assistance and hearing assistance to those in need, and have assisted the Winfield Junior Women's Club Annual Snacks with Santa program. Proceeds from past fundraising events have gone to sponsor Boy Scout Troop 575 that we just saw marching down here, the Winfield DARE program, Winfield in Action, and support area organizations like the Humanitarian Service Project, the DuPage Convalescence Center, and St. Mary's Food Pantry. These guys are busy. They are proud of the 50 years plus service to the community. Thanks to the Lions for helping to make a difference. It's actually the Winfield Democratic Organization. That includes the village of Winfield, West Chicago, Warrenville, and parts of Aurora. What a terrific thing to see all these towns come together and pool their resources to make this just a better place to live. Shannon Burns, your Forest Preserve Commissioner, re-elect Shannon Burns. Here we are with Lauren Nowak, a member of the DuPage County Board. Give her a big round of applause for all of her service. Are you going to hug everybody today, Lauren? No, just me. Just <laughs> the old guys. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. You could be jealous. But... It's a good old day, not a good old boy. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay Thought they Thought they already came. I already mentioned them. The Winfield Township Democratic Organization includes the village of Winfield, West Chicago, Warrenville, and parts of Aurora. Once again, we think that's a great way to combine your resources. Here we have Karowski Family Vision. They're committed to providing quality eye care to families. Their number one priority is taking the time to identify each patient's unique 
visual needs and providing for their wellness. They strive to keep up to date with the latest technology and keep their staff with the latest research in their field. They want their customers to walk out of their practice excited with new vision. And here we have the Newcomers Club for Wheaton, Winfield, and Warrenville. The Newcomers Club of Wheaton, Winfield, and Warrenville is a woman's social organization with a network of approximately 150 families. Wow, that's strength in numbers, including new and longtime residents, working and stay-at-home moms, single and married women of all ages. The club offers activities and interest groups for women, adults, kids, and their entire family. And they help facilitate community outreach throughout the year. Visit their website at wheatonnewcomers.org to join. Here we have Brock Service Center. Please welcome Brock Service Station, servicing Winfield with all of their automotive needs. Here's Bill Brock driving the John Deere. This has been a family-run business. You can rely on them for all of your automotive needs. That's okay. We have now the West Chicago Community High School football team. They are led by head coach Bill Bicker and captains Alex Starkey, Colin Lito, Carlos Laura, and Mike Fabia. Please come out and cheer on the Wildcats in their inaugural season in the Upstate 8 Conference. The remaining home games are September 20th against Wabanzi, homecoming October 4th against Bartlett, and October 11th against South Elgin, and October 25th against East Aurora. Here we have the West Chicago Community High School Varsity Palm Team. The team consists of 16 girls and is coached by Crystal Sampson. The team is looking forward to this season's performances at every home varsity football and basketball game. This is the team's first year as being recognized as an IHSA official sport team. So cheer them on as they compete this year. Thank you. And you hear what's coming? That's the Community High School Marching Band. marching band and band director Steve Goverston. Thank you. for you forever. This is a family-run shelter. Let's give a round of applause. They do this all out of kindness and love. They rescue little fur kids from the areas that are overpopulated with unwanted animals, and they literally save their lives. And some of the areas they rescue from, the, the little furry friends you see before you come from Kentucky, Missouri, Tennessee, Indiana, Arkansas, and Texas. They watch after their health, offer them shelter, and provide them with a loving environment until a family is found. So be sure to give a warm welcome to John and Sherry for Paws for You. 
Oh, here we come with a karate. You guys gonna show us something today? Superstar Karate is located in Carroll Stream. They focus on teaching character trait development through martial arts and training. They train students from age three through adult. And here comes the demonstration now. These guys actually have weapons. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah, nice Columbus. Okay. Oh, he looks dangerous. Give him a big round of applause. Ladies, he's the one to walk home from school with. <laughs> Here are those strong voices coming from St. John the Baptist, Knights of Columbus, Council Number 8002. The Knights are a fraternal organization and they promote active charitable causes. Wow, they have 140 members. This is a strong sense of support here that we get. They oversee many community events for the Village of Winfield, the Fish Fries, Pancake Breakfast, Good Old Days, DuPage County Fair, the Tootsie Roll Drive for the Disabled, Bingle Nights at DuPage Convalescent Center, and much more. Make sure you give them fine gentlemen a big round of applause. Don't forget to stop by their food tent and go get some yummy food. That's where I'll be. Here we have the classic car club. Hey, who's driving that? Who is that guy, character there? Does he have a license? One of our parade favorites. Who doesn't love a beautiful classic car? Here we have the Kingsway Farm. Kingsway Farm is close to lovely downtown Winfield. They enjoy working with horses and riders since 1986. They teach English and Western writing to riders as young as six years old. And this summer, they had the privilege of fulfilling a bucket list dream of a 75-year-old who had dreamed of being um, on a horse. They specialize in teaching safety, balance, and control. Give them a big round of applause. Yeah, let's clap for the pooper scoopers. Thanks for keeping our streets clean. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the horses for that pooping here. Yeah, yeah. Well, they ha we're not we're not out of the uh, out of the danger zone yet. <laughs> oh, oh, I love that wind. Coming up here, that big stretch limo, West Suburban Limousine. Everybody knows that name. They've been servicing the Chicagoland suburbs and airports for over 45 years. They provide distinctive services with a personal touch. I'm sorry, I just got carried away by this song. I just love this song. I belong. With over 100 cars on their fleet, they are here to make your travel plans easier and more convenient. I think somebody needed a bathroom break there. <laughs> West Suburban Limousine. You get a navigator there too. A big friendly wave. They've been uh, in the area for 45 plus years. Oh, here comes St. John the Baptist School teachers, parents, and students providing education and a moral foundation for children to succeed in life. Thanks for the candy. Next up, we have the Healthcare Associates Credit Union. Healthcare Associates Credit Union promise to anticipate your needs and exceed your expectations. They are better than a bank, as they say. Great rates and totally free checking. Can just anybody come and join? The whole community. The whole community, so you don't need to be a doctor. So you don't need to have a lot of money. You could just come and bank. <laughs> In these times, that's what we need. 
And we have the Winfield United Methodist Church. Don't forget the word community there, as they are all about community since 1937. They're just around the corner, located on West Jefferson. All are welcome at their table, and you can join them for worship on Sunday mornings at 10.30 a.m., so you don't even have to get up super early. They have Bible study, children's lessons, fellowship, potlucks. They have lots of fun family events planned this fall, so be sure to check it all out at their website at winfieldumc.org or stop by any time just to see what's growing in the Common Ground Garden. They're proud to serve the greater community because they believe uh, that Pastor Bonhoeffer had it right when he said the church is the church only when it exists for others. We exist for you, they say, our community. See you soon. Bonhoeffer? He was a pastor? Is that the famous guy that was kept his captive? Wow. DuPage County Sheriff, right? There we go. Sheriff John Zaruba is a lifelong resident of DuPage County. Give him a round of applause. He also actually looks very healthy. He's been a member of the DuPage County Sheriff's Office since 1974. He has served as sheriff since April of 1997. Sheriff Zaruba has worked in all facets of the office, including corrections, court security, law enforcement, internal affairs, accreditation, and planning and research. The Sheriff's Office provides law enforcement services for the residents of DuPage County. Have you thanked a teacher today? Let's give a big round of applause to Winfield School District 34. In the heart of Winfield, the Winfield Tigers are wearing pink as a symbol of their love and support for those in their school community who are battling breast cancer. They ask you to join them in sending wishes of hope, strength, and healing to those they are honoring today. Tigers wearing pink. Show your support. Pretty in pink. Thank you for all you do for our kids. Bikers to your left. Now we have bikers coming up. Cyclists. I'm sorry, cyclists. I apologize. Let's get that right. The ABD, that stands for Athletes by Design. This cycling club has grown to be one of the largest clubs in the Midwest. Originally focused on development of young, talented junior riders, ABD has now grown to include riders of all ages and all ability levels. It's all only men? Oh, old men. I was going to say, what do you mean? A girl can't join your club? Okay, obviously they have lots of old men in their group as well. <laughs> Today the club works to develop riders of all ages and abilities and promote the growth of the sport of cycling through the numerous events they organize. Where is Joe Barney? Is Joe he in Bernie. your group? Right. Bernie? Joe Barney. Joe Barney, let's give him a big round of applause. He represented the U.S. in the Paralympics in London and he won silver, bronze, and gold for the United States. And he met the Queen and Duchess Kate. He was awarded the silver, bronze, and gold. And the ABD Cycling Club is sponsored by Prairie Path Cyclists. So for more information, you can ask with Prairie Path Cyclists. There we go. It wasn't clear. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here come the Navy. Please join us in welcoming Cindy Schuler's son, Bobby Schuler, and his new band of brothers. These are the newest sailors in the United States Navy. Navy, Fairwinds, and Following Seas Sailors. Give them a big round of applause. Send them off in style, Winfield. just any clown. This is Ronald McDonald. This is the real deal. And why would Ronald McDonald be coming here to Winfield? Well, because there is a new McDonald house coming to your town. 
So to help relieve the burden of faced by families of hospitalized children, Cadence Health and Ronald McDonald House of Charities have teamed up to build the western suburbs, the western suburbs, first Ronald McDonald House right here in Winfield. Give that a big round of applause. That's great for your town. They're scheduled to open in February 2015 and will provide a home away from home for all families with children that have complex medical needs. For more information on the project, please visit the Cadence Health booth on Church Street, which is here right now, today. You're also going to see Ronald McDonald do magic tricks in the big tent after the parade, so be sure to catch that. Now we have the Winfield Junior Women's Club with the Prince and Princess of the Parade. Hey, look at that prince up there. His name is Luke Hopkins. Does he look familiar? If you were here at the good old days parade all those years ago, his father Michael Hopkins was the prince when he was just six years old. And then for the princess, we have Lydia Schultz and she is five years old. Congratulations. The Winfield Juniors Women's Club care about the community and the future. They support in a variety of ways, ranging from volunteering at PADS and Camp TLC. They take monetary donations to local charities and host events like Snacks with Santa, Winfield Health and Wellness Fair, and of course, this parade. The juniors welcome anyone who would like to help in these ways. Contact information is available right here at the table. And we have to give a special thanks to the Junior Women's Club for their help and contribution to make this parade and Winfield Good Days Festival a great event for the community. Special shout out to Jenny Saylor of the Winfield Lions Club. Let's give her a round of applause. Yay, Jenny. Tony Reyes of the Knights of Columbus. We met him earlier driving that tractor. So if you see these folks, be sure to give them a big hearty thank you for making this possible. Tim Janis of the Winfield Lions Club and the Village of Winfield Police Chief Stacy Reaver. Thanks to her and the entire police department and the Ty Loomis of Public Works and the Winfield Emergency Management Agency, all working closely to help this event be safe for all. Without these volunteers, this would not be possible. And thank you to the Winfield Juniors Parade Committee, Patty Weber, Deb Pascola, and of course, Monica Rundell. For without them, this parade would just not be possible. Big round of applause, and here we are at the end of our 2013 Good Old Days Parade in Winfield. Thank you all for coming out and showing your support. Be sure to stick around and have some fun. Go check Ronald McDonald doing some tricks over there under the big tent. Water fights right behind me here at St. John's Church.